Welcome to Lost in Space. Our fourth episode of Lost in Space. Um, this one is a dance special. Uh, we've got some of the dancers with us from Inspirations. Um, so again, so I'm I am um, JP, and I'm I'm your host again today. Um, so we're going to head around, and we're going to get um, all the girls and the guys to in- to introduce themselves, and we're going to start at this end. So introduce yourself, and just let the listeners know on how long you've been in in, in Inspirations for. Hi, I'm Molly, and I've been here for nearly two years. Nice one. Um, I'm Grace and I've been here for a year. I'm Ava and <laughs> I've been here for three years. <laughs> My name's Olivia and I've actually lost count how long <laughs> I've been at Inspirations. <laughs> uh, I'm Isa and I've been here all my life. Which is <laughs> how much? Nine years. Nine years. Mm-hmm. Uh, seems old. I'm Luke and I've been here for a year. Nice. Um, so in this podcast, we're going to be talking about because we've talked about drama, talked about music a little bit, but we're going to talk about on why dance is, I, I think, one of the most important forms of art. And you guys have all got different experience when it comes to dance. Um, so what I want to ask you is first things first is why is dance important to you, Molly? I'd say dance is important to me because I've done it all my life. It's like been there, like as I've grew up, always. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Grace. <laughs> I'll come back to you. Yeah. I'll come back to you. Ava? Um, I don't really know what I'd do without dance. I've done it for my whole life. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Liv? Yeah, I'm probably the same as Ava. I've done it forever. Um, and it's important because of the stuff it brings to your personal life and the friendships you make. Yeah, 100%. Easy, go on. Uh, well, I don't really have a life without dance, you know. It's dance your life. So Basically, <laughs> yeah. So real. <laughs> there you go. Even though it's only two times a week, I'll... Uh, but you still dance like every day. Yeah. Luke? That's right. <laughs> um, dance is important to me because, like, I've always been dancing from a young age, but I haven't done it, like, professionally. Like, com- okay. like competing. Yeah. And now that I'm competing, you, like, get the thrill of it. So it's quite fun. Grace, um, I'd one. say the same because like, I've done it ever since I was little. But okay, yeah. we've got uh, what I want as well. So, Luke, because you're 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 fairly new to, to dance, um, what was it like like when you first started? Um, it was stressful because you looked at everyone else and like they were good at dancing, and then you heard like the dance teachers shouting about like pointing toes <laughs> and stuff. On the hill. No, we we <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> Somebody in the corner over here. <laughs> and then, because you did that, obviously, like, you're thinking, gosh, this is, like, homework. Like, there's so <laughs> much you've got to focus on. <laughs> it's not like you just sit there and do it. You've actually got to, like, focus on things. Oh, focus, yeah. All right. Um, Liv, I think I'm going to come t- to you with this one, I think, for the first one. So, how has Inspirations helped you? Just, like, oh in your God. life completely. Um, so, uh, going back to school days here, um... Yeah, I was no I was a little bit naughty when I was younger and the only person I was ever worried about was Janet Thompson. She was the only person that I was scared of as a kid. <laughs> so yeah, to me mum, if I was naughty in school, it would be don't make me keep you off dance. Yeah. And then if I was off dance, Kerry and Janet and Betty would have known. Yeah. Why? I'd been kept because <laughs> you get grounded, you get grounded, you don't go to dance. Yeah. <laughs> I get that. That's yeah, because yeah, they know that, that's so that's all you care right, about. Yeah. So yeah, um, going back to, is it important? Why was it important? important? Yeah, yeah. yeah, because yeah, I, this was like a home from home. When you're, especially going back to the younger days when you're growing up, um, it's just the, the whole centre is you can be whatever you want and whoever you want, and when you you can build relationships with that and then in the form of dance it just kind of all that anger from your teacher in science class can come out, out yeah, yeah pretty yeah, much and out, yeah. then you meet new mates and you get better at techniques and styles and it becomes a passion um and you with your group of mates who you mates with inside outside and last forever. yeah and yeah. i've still got mates who are well older than me <laughs> um we're all the kids um and we're still tight as we was when yeah. we were 14 dancing in here 
yeah, which if is not tighter us, now, yeah. yeah. And um, yeah, um, Ava, so, so, so you've been here for what four, four years? Uh, three, four years, yeah. So, um, how do you think that that inspiration has helped you? Um, it's a family. Like we're honestly all so close. You know, if you need that, and you can come and speak to them, and honestly, it's just honest. It doesn't you can never describe how close we all are. Like we literally are a family. Yeah, which is what I think. What's yeah, yeah, just going back to that is like age. Ages don't matter. So like when I was Everyone's younger, like yeah. So when I was younger, fifteen, sixteen, I would sit with the twenty-one-year-old girls, and it's and the twenty-one-year-old girls with girls would lend dresses, whatever I needed, give advice. If your mum shouted <laughs> at you, what to do? So it's it's that's why this this centre and most importantly dancing to me personally was well more important growing up. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I'm still here now at this yeah. age. <laughs> All right, uh, Mark. What about you? So how would you say that inspiration is like? Has helped you. I say the same as living Ave, really. Like it's always been the way where I've danced in different places, but nothing's ever really been the same. Like I went to Savia with Ave and I just wasn't happy at all. And then Ave went to start coming to dance with me twice a week and I started coming and I it helped me find my feet. Like I found back where I was going. I pulled all like my school results and it all came straight back up because I just became better in myself in a way. And like we'll walk in, like we'll tell living Ryan and stuff like there are mates who sit on the altar every day in school, like, there's just no <laughs> difference. Like, Liv sits up and goes, I'm sitting with the kids. But if no one, like, questions anything, like, everything really just, like, is a family. Yeah. All right, yeah, and Grace, what about you? Um, I'd say, like, that you could all, if you wanted to speak to anyone about anything, you always could. Like, these always, like, listen and that and yeah. tell you. Well, I think, would you guys agree that, I think... Obviously, I mean, you guys have, have all been hands t- 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 for a while. Would that, like, regards like confidence wise or in a, in like any aspect of life, that dance has helped you gain that confidence to whether it's to whether it's like heading out for the first time or c- going to like um, uh, a party or something like that where we feel more confident because of dance. Would you guys agree that that's that yeah. dance has helped yeah. you all in that way? Yeah, yeah. 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 When you're on stage, how do you feel? You can never des- oh you can God. never yeah. describe the feeling. Like you the cardio. <laughs> <laughs> no we don't, Molly. No we don't. <laughs> if if you d- if you mess up on stage you're thinking, Oh, what's Kenny gonna say? What's Liv gonna say? But like you absolutely can- nothing as long as you give it full beans. What <laughs> what would you say going on that? What would you say has been like I if any if any of you is like I have messed up on stage, what's been like the one which like has stuck with you? Like which you remember the most if, if you have like messed up on stage. I know for me when I was we were doing uh, money money and <laughs> the, the straps <laughs> on my costume came down. I had to stand there on stage and wait until the lights went off and it was the most I think that was the first show that my dad came to actually watch as well. And it was not a good first show oh, for him to watch. Embarrassing. Go on. Mine was Panto. First panto, we were dancing shebang and oh. we had the hair <laughs> extensions in. And as I bounced, my hair as fell. <laughs> and I just had the bun. And everyone else had like seven inch <laughs> long ponies. It's the way you caught it though. She like as it fell down my back, I caught it. I think it couldn't have been a more perfect so I had to catch anything. And I caught it and I'm sitting there dancing and I've just got some wig up and down in my hands. And I just stayed there, got a minute, carried on dancing with some wig in my hands with a little tiny bun on the back of my head. <laughs> Um, um, Ava, what about you? Mine's going to be the Pumba costume. The witch. I might be funny, but that costume's got a jinx on me. Every time I wear it, something goes wrong with it. Why would I? Uh, the first time, happened? the lazzy broke on the back of it, and it was like dangling down, and I had to run off stage because I literally, and then Kaz was like, just go back on, and was like, push me back on stage. And then, like, when we were at Elite, like, the pillow just fell out the front of it. <laughs> <laughs> The judges, I've never like the judges were just giggling at themselves, and I was just like, oh my god! And then oh. Kerry starts laughing, and I starts laughing, and then we were just like, I didn't even know it had happened until I watched the video a week later. Yeah, no one, I didn't like. I, I was like, why is that on the floor? <laughs> I decided to fly. Do you think? But uh, but you think like do you think like when that happens like that's. It's like it's still a part of, the, of like yeah. whatever show, like like 100%. whatever c- company. If you like with musical yeah. theatre, you can play with it. It's laugh. If you make up, then judge more for yeah. like you'll look back and think that's yeah, it's hilarious. Nice, yeah, yeah, it's nice that. Show but business. Yeah, the <laughs> show, <laughs> yeah, the show must go on every time. <laughs> um, that kind of goes into the next question, and I think of what are dance competitions like, and I think I'm going to go to Luke on this one first because you've done your first. Your was it your first dance like dance comp you done? 
And no, it was Ellesmere Port in February, I think it was. Yeah. Oh, okay. So what would you say, like, for you, like, their life, like, kind of coming into it as, like, a new person, like, into dance conditions, like, what are they, like, what are they been like for you? Um, honestly, I was really panicking, like, I remember just being in the changing rooms, and I was sweating, um, because, obviously, you're on a big stage, and there's yeah. people watching you, and judging every move that you're making, so you've got loads of pressure on you, um, and then, obviously, we like to have quite goofy costumes for our dancers as well <laughs> so uni yeah, yeah. Unique, yes. I think that's the best costume yeah. for nothing yeah. win best unique costume is the word so um, when you're going out on a big stage with loads of people with a big curly green wig on <laughs> um, okay. you're wondering like how you actually look and when you've got your sweat sticking the wig to your face, oh. it's not the nicest yeah. thing. Would you say that like that like the costumes take away that like, yeah. any anxiety or worry when you play yeah. on stage? Actually, yeah, yeah, because like you can be yourself as well. Because it's not like you have to like you don't have to follow what you're like. Like you just think like what would this character act like? And obviously with Lowe, we were Munchkins. So um, <laughs> we had to like just be like little children. Yeah. So you just got to mess around, and it was fun because you just got to be a kid on He's stage. Kid, yeah, which is nice. Yeah. Um, Ava, what about you? Like, what would you say? Like, like, so what have dance competitions been like for you? Because you've done. I mean, can you have a guess on how many you've done the past three, four years? Too many. Too many. <laughs> <laughs> um, feel like. Honestly, when you're on stage, you just forget about anything. And you honestly just put it all into the dance and you think, I don't want to let my team down, so you've got to put it all into it. And on it, you just, you just got to put your being into it, haven't you, really? You just can't let your team down. That's all you've got to think yeah. of. Grace, with a hand up there. Yeah, I've got a hand up. <laughs> 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 you don't have to put your hand up, don't you? Um, what's the word? It's a very stressful. Mm. I reckon, like, the more you stress, like, because I remember my first come back after ages, and um, what's it called? I messed up on the dance. And I think it was because I stressed myself out yeah. that much. And I thought to myself, oh my god, Liv's gonna hit me. <laughs> 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 I had a Liv was in front of me, and I knew she knew that. I thought she knew that I messed up, and I was like, oh my god, she hates me. <laughs> Just for the record, I do not like batter these kids or anything like that. No, she doesn't. Not that. We're just the one. Jesus. I'm allowed to it, yeah. <laughs> Uh, we're all scared to live when it comes to comp. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> no, true. when they go into comp mode, you just know there's no going back. You either come in and you do 100 percent without the big blue doors, and you're not seen until the next comp. Just, yeah, I've like done. <laughs> we just why if you have to describe like the dance competitions in like one word, what like what would you say? Isa, come on, your hand up there again. <laughs> <laughs> not round up. What the heck? Um, I probably like to describe them as. Stressful and actually fun. Okay, stressful and fun. Molly, like what would you say? Like, like yeah, he's like one way for comps. One way. Experience. Experience, nice. Grace? Um, hectic. Okay, <laughs> true. Yeah. Ava? Um, fun. Fun? Yeah. Liv? Um, exciting. Exciting, I like that one. Luke? Overwhelming. Overwhelming. Yeah. What? What? If you had to say, like, like, what would you say is like the most stressful thing about dance competitions? The quick change. Yeah. yeah. Quick change. Yeah. Quick change. yeah. Quick change. yeah. Well, this quick change is the worst. Thing when you in say the quick world. change, though, so just listen. So, how fast would you guys be expected to have to change from one outfit to like the other? Less than three minutes. Less than three. Oh, okay. Maybe, so two. maybe two. two. So basically, let's say you have a dance. And then you ha- so you have a dance of yours. Then there's a different dance school. Then you have a da- another dance of yours that uh, you're in. You would be probably expected to change in about two or three. You're minutes. stripping off as yeah. you're going down to your yeah. So, yeah, song, yeah. So sometimes we do competitions, especially more in elite, where we're in like a big hall. Um, so what we'd have is let's say six dance girls all in one hall, but all dancing together yeah. one after of each other. So we might have, we might be on dance from school number two and dance school number four and then dance school number seven. And each so kid is in three dan- dances. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So Would it's a uh, quick, it's never mind getting off stage, getting your costume that you've got on off <laughs> and <laughs> then breathing, 
wiping the sweat <laughs> off your face, making sure you you know what's next, getting changed, getting in that mindset for the next character and yeah, dance. Like, ready. so I'd say that's probably the hardest part when we go to big weekend like competition. competitions. Yeah, yeah. 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 Remember, yeah. we had. I remember doing all day. We literally we had one Lion dancer King. between all of our dancers, and we had tribe, a gap, then Lion King. But I remember because the quick change that we had, we swapped <laughs> tribe and Lion King. Because Lion King, you've got the feathers, you've got oh, the yeah, hair, the you've got everything for Lion King, and tribe is a bit more easier. And all in one we're a little thing, aren't you? Yeah. But it's, it's like you're simple. trying to sweat in the costume, stick to you, but you're trying to get you the other one on and it's just <laughs> not going on. And like, it's so glad. It's I remember so screaming at my mum and dad going, my shoes are gone. I literally got to Elite and realised I've left my Matilda top and my dance shoes on my bed. My dad was running into that stair at nine o'clock in the morning <laughs> trying to get me some white t shirts, dance with all that. I can't even remember whose dance shoes I wore, but they didn't fit me because they hurt so bad. But it is, it's the quick change. Do you know, like, I, do you think, like, during dance competitions, there's not almost, there's, you don't have time to stress or panic yeah. because you, like, you don't have time, don't have time, time like, to like, think. What's the mindset, like, to do it, like, get like, through it, dance one piece. Just wait for me to say to me, I'm <laughs> <laughs> if, you do, if you do one wrong, get the other one right. You test yeah. me a deal. Yeah, I'd say we try and prep and prepare and uh, uh, explain what it's like. But like Molly said, it's very much an, an experience that until you go to our elite competitions. And I think a, a few years back, I was, me and Rhiannon were in, in the whole weekend, 22 dancers each. That's a lot, that, yeah. Yeah, in this nice space of like two days. <laughs> And yeah, I'm still getting PTSD. Up on. <laughs> so yeah, it, it's all about being on the ball enough because it's that quick and blurry. So that's why it's so hard. Co- well, practices get a bit more intense when yeah. we do comps because you need to be knowing that dance, whether you've got poo cut, whether you're dizzy, whether you're sweating, whether you need to drink, you need to go just, on and be it, yeah. a lion now because you're in Lion King. But before you were a nice fairy. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> it's very much of just knowing your stuff so that you, that quick change and that hecticness just rolls and just you roll into it. it. Yeah. You it's really do live by practice, practice makes perfect. Yeah. You'll yeah. never you just really do live for yeah. what it yeah. is basically my life. What, like what my would you say with, with all the comps you've done or I mean, for all the comps and on dance, what would be, what's your favourite style of dance to do? Like if you, had, if you were to get, so if, if let's say in the next 10 minutes I'm going to put you guys in a comp and you've got to choose one style of dance to do, what? What would what would be your go to style that you guys feel that is your like strongest one? Like what would you do, Luke? Can we start with you? Um, for me, it's contemporary. Okay. Because you can be as sassy as you want with it, and like it's quick, and I like quick dancing because when it's slow dancing, like I I can not stay on my tiptoes. Like I am bad. What just so people can like if you had to explain what contemporary style is. Um. The way I just say is like quick and snappy. Quick and snappy, nice. Okay. You, you're getting commercial mixed up with. Oh, my bad. <laughs> yeah, commercial <laughs> dancing. Yeah, I'm going to say Luke, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my yeah. bad. Still getting used to how many different types he is. All right, uh, Isa? Uh, musical theatre. And if those who know this dance school, they, they are things like Lion King, Matilda... Uh, Tarzan, yeah. Um, Monster High. Monster High. Yeah. Is Snop. Avatar. Sort of. Um, Hunger Games. Mm, I don't know. Trap based on Avatar. Is it? Did you not tell me that? Told. But we all got told. Someone's lying to us. That's not. Oh, how much was the game watch Avatar? Actually, what? Go watch Avatar. Go watch Avatar. <laughs> Avatar? <laughs> Avatar? Yeah. The blue thing? I know what Avatar is, but top, it's a tribe is not based on Avatar. <laughs> no, we it is. Like the way the costumes are, it is. Oh, you just made the Avatar, yeah. Around. Around. No. no. Kenny told us that we're like a tribe, so we're like, we're in, we're in a, Yeah, I, mean, I remember it was Kenny who told us. Yeah, it's because we've, because recently, after that, not. like <laughs> two weeks ago, we just watched the it's new Tarzan movie. Yeah, Tarzan. No, not Tarzan, Tarzan. Tar- 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 yeah. Okay, there we go, guys. We were cleared. Yeah. Yeah. Yahoo News. <laughs> <laughs> it is based on Tarzan. But we've all been watching the wrong film. That it's not. It's not Avatar. 
Jeg har sagt det til Ja, nej. Live without you, my favorite style of dance. Oh, hip hop, obviously. Hip hop queen. The queen of the hip hop is in the room. Ava. Um, probably like musical theatre or like jazz or like modern, because we're like we are. You can become a character. I feel like a dance is easier when you've got a character to become. Yes, okay. Yeah. Grace? Um, I'd say probably like contemporary or lyrical. Like okay. So what, I'll tell you what, because that's a question that I used to find, like, like, when I say to people, like, in, I mean, I was part of the like, years ago, and sometimes I, 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 I get asked, like, what's the difference between contemporary and lyrical? I don't have an answer for that. I can never answer that. So I don't know what the difference is. So I'm kind of going to come to you guys on this one, on what is the difference between it. We're all pointing so, out yeah, so go on. So, yeah. <laughs> Lyrical is more a traditional, slower, slow style. So when you think of a, of a lyrical piece, it's linked to... Oh, emotion. I think to emotion. Yes, emotion, emotion okay. I would say. That's a Story good way line. to describe it, yes. Whereas contemporary is a little bit like... It's a... Personally, I'd describe it as a mixture between modern and lyrical because you can have stiff movement and it can change so have you ever watched um sia when oh, she yeah. hit the style yeah. of dancers i would say that's more contemporary than lyrical oh, okay. because yeah. it's very stop star but it's fluent as well but right, they are yeah. very 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 close, very close they're to, the yeah. very, similar. very similar yeah yeah when we compete they're the same section, the same section. if that makes sense yeah learn something every day there you go and mm-hmm. uh, molly i'd have to say hip-hop and commercial it's just the way it really, it's always been that. Yeah. Since I was little, Star Stop and Ballet and Tap, it wasn't me. Me and Eve moved to hip hop, we're both the age of eight. And that's my, been my main thing really ever since. Right. I'm a bit of care, but what, what's, your, what's, your, what's your least favourite style of dance? Ooh. What's the one, like the one type of dance which you, you, you really don't like to do? Man's Tap, I hate. No, I could, yeah. I could not do no. that. I love doing tap, do but I then I just it. feel like it's bo- it gets boring after a bit because I feel like there's not many movements you can do yeah. with it. Because yeah. I feel like I haven't done it in like so many years as well. That's what I've done as a baby, ballet and tap. That's what I always grew up doing. But then I feel like now I look back, I wish I did carry on with ballet. But yeah. tap, no, me legs hurt after that. Legs <laughs> 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 are Luke, what are you? Like, what's your worst, like, your worst one? Um, lyrical. Lyrical? Okay, just right. because... I don't really enjoy slow dancing and I can't get in the mindset to not like be snappy with my moves. Not got a okay. straight leg between everyone. Yeah, and I, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hate that word. It's just the For like with dance, yeah. where, where is it you guys want? Where do you want dance to take you? Okay. Like where do you want it to take you? Um, I feel like in school I'm a very sporty person. Like I'm in every sports team. Like I'm captain of a few of them. I feel like um. Go <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where. It, like We're rubbing <laughs> everyone's faces then. Why don't you? I'm just saying. Like I'm a very sporty person, so I feel like I'd do some like incorporate dance into sport and do something yeah. with sports nice, and dance. Yeah. Nice one, Grace. Any ideas? Um, like. I'd still like to be able to do it when I was older, but I wonder if there's like a job or that, and I'd be okay. like to see if that I'd like doing. Yeah. If it is a good thing. Yeah. Right, fair enough. Yeah. Well. Well, I literally have just well went to colleges the other day, and that's what the course I'm doing. I've looked at a few different, got it for an evening, so that's my plan really. Like, do my dance course in college, and then see where I am after that because I can get yeah just whatever you need to go into university if you wanted yeah. to do it, or move on. But if I could have done it all my life. I do want to do it forever. Yeah. I don't know if I'd want to do it in a job, but I always just want to have it there, really. I think I think it's the same as I, th- I think with dance and things like that. I think it's with any job in the arts. It it is. I think. I mean, realistically, it is hard to get a full time job yeah. in the arts. And yeah. I think mm-hmm. Dance is not the other thing. I think like dance, acting, but it's art and music. It is very hard to get like a permanent job in yeah. that in that form of art. I think. Luke. Um, for me, it's just really having that like family that'll have your back, like when you need someone to go to, um, and it's just for the hobby as well, really. Yeah. All right, easy. 
You have to, oh, I'm gone. Okay, we got the finger, so we're just gonna wait a second. Don't think she knows what the question yeah. is. Yeah. What the question is. <laughs> okay. Where? How do you this way either? So where? Where do you want dance to take you in the future? Um. She's thinking. Thinking hard and long, baby girl. Um, I wouldn't like to get a job with it, but if I had to get a job with it, I'd stick with things that are more like musical theatre to me. Okay. But if I didn't get a job with it, I'd probably be something like an actress because I really enjoy being the character and being in the mood to like sometimes be sassy like Luke, but sometimes be slow and fast. Yeah, very nice. Right. Yeah, I like that. Liv? Uh, well, yeah, I'm a full-time professional dancer for Beyonce, Katy Perry, <laughs> so that's where inspiration just took me. No, I'm just um, so yeah, like the girls, like Grace mentioned before, obviously I'm an estate agent day in, day out. I've not left inspirations. I had the pleasure of teaching these kids, or young girls, whatever you are, and boys. Us. Um, <laughs> and yeah, like, obviously all the way up. It's from, just us. Yeah, we still got some of the girls, like... 28 29 still coming me, back yeah. so yeah we do we do have we had we entered an adult competition so for me it's still a hobby keeps me fit keeps me mind like it's a yeah. very mental like block that like, keeps my mental health um quite good and yeah you still still get to yeah. be with us keeps me young i'll say yeah. <laughs> young. Does, i think yeah. that's uh, we touched on that on last week's episode i got asked for id you see when i'm with these oh, that's right. why <laughs> that's, that's right. why and i've got id oh, at the bar we were at the bar at the least and we, oh, we were just talking and she went, can I get a drink at the bar? And the man went, no, it's a girl. And she went, can I see your ID, please? I bet, I and Liv was like, are you messing me? No, I, <laughs> I couldn't get me beer, are you mad? I was happy. <laughs> 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 yeah, all she these 18-year-olds <laughs> next to me aren't getting asked. <laughs> but yeah. So it what was would you say? Funny. I think on that, because like last week's last week episode, like we touched on how the arts helps mental health. How, like Dance-wise, on your own mental health, how has it helped you guys, like briefly, uh, and how your mm-hmm. how has dance just helped helped you guys like mentally? Go on, I feel like it's um, I feel like when you come here, you can forget about anything. Like you forget about school, you forget about home, and you can just focus and just be with mates and just get everything out while you're here. Nice. I literally couldn't say better to myself. Like when you walk them doors downstairs, I feel like you enter just a totally different place. Like you're in, and you're here for the amount of hours that you're here and. If you're angry, you get it out and you dance. If you're upset, you get out and you dance. If you're in a good mood, you try to bring people on the best moods up. But yeah, like it really does reflect. Like I'll be in school and I think I've got dance like that. I'll be okay. And like you thrive for it. Like it really does bring out the best side possible yeah, in you. It just makes you feel all that more confident. Yeah. Just yeah. Like better at yourself. Nice. Um, I think that is for us guys on this week's episode. Uh, our dance special. Uh, we end each episode with a really random fact. <laughs> Liv's car got towed the other day. <laughs> <laughs> that's, so just, that's just a weekly thing. Do you know when someone says to you, oh, okay, you've got five minutes, we need to hurry up. Five minutes is only 300 seconds. Whoa. So Whoa. Five minutes is only 300 seconds. So is next time. Yeah, random fact. So, so if someone random says random to you, oh God, this is so let's say if you two are running late and if you're one. trying to and if you're trying to hurry up Molly, instead of saying you've got five hundred minutes, say you've got three hundred seconds. seconds. I'm gonna right. do that because she's well constantly late. It's before. less, isn't it? Hey, well, well, it's weird, isn't it? <laughs> hey, I'm gonna use that because she's constantly late. Like three hundred seconds. Say, wasn't I? I'm not dancing until seven. I'll see you in a five. Right. Well, thank you very much, guys, for this and. I think we'll def- we'll definitely have you on again. Uh, I think we're going to do. I think really? episode ten is going to be another like dance special. Um, Obviously, the most successful it's podcast this is going to be. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it can be. We might yeah. have a few more voices, but I think I think definitely we'll definitely oh, have you guys. Come get Lilia here. Another dance special. Yeah. Save so, the days. Yeah. Thanks Usually, for I am actually in the podcast podcast group but i have to go out because i've got dance but this one was especially early so i'd like to give yeah it was i think it, yeah, yeah it was early just for Isa. like none of you guys oh, it was just, it was oh, just oh, for oh, oh, thanks, thanks babe. <laughs> 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 i feel special